Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another fun, fast Tinkercad project. So let's get cracking. Friends, let's start from my website, hlmodtech.com. Of course, I got a page dedicated to Tinkercad with all these cool categories. SimLab is awesome, and it's the one I'm chatting about today. But we're going to get to it via the new HLMT23 shares. Friends, this is simply a tag where people can share their cool creations with me. Of course, if you do share them, I will give you a reaction. Sweet stuff, eye of the void, anxious to open it and see just how much it punishes my PC. Of course, I've given everybody a reaction and I want to thank Sonic Speed Dude. Of course, this is my gallery shutout. And I want to highlight Josue Rodriguez. This is absolutely fantastic. One of my favorite projects I created. It lets you do sweeping text. He put whatever it is, I'm against it, and also shared a cool note. Thank you so much, and of course, going to give it a wow. Friends, the one I want to jump to, though, is the Pinewood Derby Working Engine by J.O. Designs. Of course, it's worth checking out his other work as well. Friends, please remember the golden rule of Tinkercad. Before you copy, give a reaction. When you do copy and tinker, it'll launch like this. If we zoom out, we'll be able to see the entire project. It is unbelievably cool. Start, finish, tree lights, timers down there. Of course, these are the notes from the actual contest from Tinkercad. I'm going to hide the notes with Shift N. And then I want to zoom in and show you the connectors quick. If you have not seen these yet, I've got a few tutorials. I'll make sure there are links up in the corner. There are three of them. They are awesome. This project is using the axle and the slider. The other one is the pivot, but it's not in this project. So friends, I'm going to hide those real quick by doing hide connectors. And let's go to the sim lab. That was the geometry snapping into place. I'll show you quickly different kinds of wheels. We got rubber wheels. We've got bouncy rubber wheels. These materials can all be adjusted. Just click and switch to whatever you want. And then finally, we can hit play to see the cars move. This one is stuck. It's actually floating. We'll talk about that a different day. But what I love is that I can pause this. And are you ready? When we zoom in, I can get us aimed exactly the way I want and then use the slider to replay that and actually see the motor moving. And are you ready? These actually go up and down. So this takes a rotation and then turns it into a vertical movement. If we click over here on show connectors, you can actually see where they're at in the process. I did not know the connectors would stay there. I'm gonna hide those again. And then also I wanted to highlight, check it out, this one, they pop up too. How cool is that? J.O., this is absolutely amazing. Friends, don't forget you can come back here and you can ungroup these and explore exactly how they were made. Let's see what happens if we make them transparent. Heck yeah, you can even see inside. Friends, it is a great way to learn about mechanisms. I hope you have a total blast messing with this and making it epic. I do want to wrap up by saying thanks again to everybody that is sharing to HLMT23. There are so many cool designs out here. Make sure when you zip out here, check them out. Cool contest, all kinds of amazing things. Details are in there. It is becoming a highlight of my day to zip out to the HLMT23 tag and see the new cool shares. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me. HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.